some stories regarding where the street originated. One is that it was invented in the 1860s at a bar on Broadway near Houston Street. Another is that it was first created at the Manhattan Club in New York City in the mid-1870s. Whatever story is true, this classic, elegant drink has endured through the years and is popular today as it was then. So, without further ado, let's get mixing. First, since this is a martini drink, we are going to ice down our glass. A quick method is to fill the glass with ice and add water. fill our mixer with ice. Traditionally, this drink is made with rye whiskey. However, there are some recipes that call for Canadian blend whiskeys as well. I am using Crown Royal, but as always, this being the budget bartender, you can pretty much use whatever whiskey you have on hand. We're going to use three ounces. Next, we are going to add sweet vermouth. This will give the drink a bit of dryness, like a dry martini, while adding some sweetness to it. We're going to add one ounce to that. Next up, we'll add a few dashes of Angostura bitters. stir this drink, and depending on how diluted you want it, like the old fashioned, the longer you stir, the more watered down it gets because of the ice. I find my perfect stir time is around 15 to 20 seconds, but for your taste, it's entirely up to you. Time for a taste test. It is good. Okay, it's now time to strain our drink, so we're going to put our Hawthorne strainer on our mixer and do a single strain into our martini glass. For the garnish, we are going to pierce a cherry with a bamboo spear. I'm using a Price Luxardo cherry, but if you only have the red Dayglow Neon Maraschino cherries, you can use those as well, or no cherries at all. It's a matter of choice. I hope you give my recipe a try. Let me know in the comments what you think. Thanks for watching, happy mixing, and be good to each other. Take care.